So we've just got to Lake Tepo and it's absolutely raging. The winds are nuts, uh, probably 50 mile an hour plus. Like we can feel the whole car moving. So we're just gonna like look around for locations we really wanna shoot uh, when the golden hour comes and thinking of locations where we can hit the stars up and it'll look pretty. So at last, uh, the wind has dropped. When we got here, it was like 50 mile an hour. We could hardly stand, but now it's really calmed down. It's absolutely beautiful. So we're just gonna like plan our location. We're hoping to hit the church up, which we briefly kind of scouted around earlier. It doesn't quite look like everyone's photos, which is really funny. People put a lot of effort into um, creating this scene that it's in the middle of nowhere, but actually, there's just a car park next to it, which is kind of funny, but it's still absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna hit that up for sunset. But this is our location for the moment. We're just having some lunch, late lunch, and it's so stunning. All the autumn leaves are just about hanging in there. So it creates some really, really nice colors for us. So it's getting to golden hour, which is perfect. The light is beautiful. Uh, earlier, we were uh, kind of just driving around the town and seeing what kind of shots we wanted to get. And this is really one for me. Uh, Ryan is going out to this point and I basically want to get him walking along with his rucksack. So it's a really beautiful outline and you'll see what I mean. So this bridge here crosses uh, the river and it kind of has a perfect mountain view. What is also really pretty, either side of the bank is autumn trees. So with this shot, I used my 70 to 200 to compress Ryan against the bridge in the mountains. I think it worked really well. There was too many people, so we had to focus on a small part, but on the right-hand side, it was perfect with the trees. All right, so we just left Lake Tecapo. It is unbelievably beautiful here, but it is also unbelievably popular. So we are going to abandon this as our primary sunset option, and we are going to shoot on the highway that goes through Burke's Pass, I believe it's called. Um, our next best plan is to come back and to photograph Church of the Good Shepherd in the middle of the evening with a nice southern Milky Way arcing over the top. And then we'll likely just stick around until sunrise to see if we can't get what we're missing this evening. But with the amount of people that are present at this spot, I mean, there's drones, there's babies, there's tour buses. It's just a full-blown mess. And being here in person, though, you can understand why so many people would like to see the same sights that we're trying to see. We're just going to do our best to work around it and see if we can have some fun. So, as you can tell, it's really windy again, uh, but this is the location we've chosen. Uh, we're just trying to make the most of the situation of just so many people being at the church. So, we found a spot which is open grass, uh, we put the car in, we're hoping for some silhouette shots. So yeah, we're going to see how it plays out, but uh, things haven't gone in our favour. And, you know, as an outdoor photographer, we both try and make the most of that. Good morning, we are headed out to Lake Tacapo right now. I'm gonna try to catch the last bit of the Milky Way and some blue hour. As we mentioned before, last night's sunset was crazy at the Church of the Good Shepherd, so we're heading back right now to go get what we didn't last night. On a positive note, on the way home, we pulled off into a nice grassy area and saw likely our best sunset of the trip so far, so all was good, and in terms of being flexible and adaptable to the situation, things shook out our way last night, so we're hoping for more of the same this morning, and we will check back in soon.
So we arrived at Church of the Good Shepherd a little too early to do any filming, so we wanted to take advantage of the last little bit of starlight that was above us. This is a wonderful world-renowned location to shoot the stars, and I took advantage of my 35mm f1.4 lens for this particular shot. I generally try to not push the ISO over 5000. Since I did have a lens that stopped down to 1.4, I was able to shoot crisp at f2, which is my preferred setting for night shots. In terms of the exposure time, I believe this one was 15 seconds. Um, I didn't want any drag in the stars, which happens due to the Earth's rotation, but you know, there's no particularly right way to do it. This is just the way that I generate my astro images. So we're here at Church of the Shepherds, and we've been here probably like four hours, and it's rammed. You can understand why. It's quite beautiful, but so we're pretty much just going to chill here until the sun rises, which is in about 10 minutes. Uh, I'm not going to shoot a huge amount. There's not a huge amount of cloud cover, so it doesn't really bring out the colors for us, but it's still really pretty to see. So we've left the Lake Takapo area and Church of the Good Shepherd where we were hoping to have a bit of privacy at our sunrise shoot, but unfortunately the place is just massively popular. But having visited, I mean, I can completely see why. We are en route to the Mount Cook National Park area, uh, one of the most famous stretches of roads in the world, and we're hoping to position the Defender either somewhere at one of the iconic curves or it looks like there's a couple places to 4x4 and maybe set up a sunset shoot. Either way, wherever we end up, it's bound to be beautiful. So we're now in the beautiful area of Mount Cook and it was a really short drive, probably only half an hour. Um, so we're just kind of going to go for road shots and stuff like that. This place has some beautiful roads leading lines up to Mount Cook. So we're just kind of scouting around and seeing what we want to shoot during the day. But also uh, looking at sunset spots and we've found a really nice spot here. It's actually just off the side of the road. So it's like a dirt track and we just we just pulled off the side of the road and this is the kind of stuff we love, love shooting. Uh, the light's a little harsh at the moment because the sunlight's direct, but I think we might come back here and chill later. But yeah, I guess it's all about looking what works. We are looking at perfect high clouds for sunset. Although it's a few hours away, we wanted to test the spot with the lenses that we will be shooting if the conditions are correct. Um, these types of rugged, slightly off-road but easily accessible spots just aren't easy to find in the States. So we're just on the Mount Cook Road and it is stunning. It is, usually we both don't shoot during the day because the light is so harsh, but for this it's just incredible. We have Mount Cook in the background. We have this beautiful road leading line. And again, we're with our 70 to 200s trying to really compress the road. 